For a long time, but one day you're gonna show yourself to be a phony. That's for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what these, you know, a lot of people are doing these days. The majority of people in society make friends naturally, which is the reason why many of us don't really look deep into the friendships we have until something crazy happens. Now, if making friends is so easy and natural then why would anyone need to look into the friendships they have or haven't got? By the end of this video, the question will be answered in a way that will make you comb through all your relationships and all the people that you call friend. And who knows, maybe you'll start to do some restructuring in regards to your social network. Now, if you're new here, my name is Leighton John Senior. Those that know me personally know that I'm serious when it comes to relationships. When I say relationships, I mean every type of relationship, as I know and understand the vital importance of the people we have in our network. It doesn't matter who you are or what you're doing. It's other people that are going to make or break you. There isn't anyone on this planet that I know of that became successful without the help from others. What is the purpose of a friend or a network of friends? Some would say that the purpose of friends can be to help you celebrate the good times and provide support during the bad times. Friendships can prevent us from isolating ourselves and slipping into loneliness, anxiety and depression. Friends can also increase our sense of belonging and purpose. Now many if not most of these points are true. So what would be the reason for you needing to look deeply into your friendships? Well the first question you need to ask yourself is what is it you want from your life? Do you want to be financially better off? Do you want to be smarter? Do you want to be in business, music or arts? Or do you want more drama? 90% of the knife crime in this capital city right now is being conducted by young black no, gang no, 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 no. What is wrong? Can I May I tell you what's wrong? It's possible like you. Well, mash up the blood Man, clock, get your people. The majority of us want the best life that we can possibly live. And for that reason, the people that we call friends and those that we spend the most time with are vital to this best life. Now, would you agree with me that there's a purpose for everything in life? There's a reason we wake up in the morning, a reason for why we eat and so on. What is the reason for you having that person as your friend? What is the purpose of you being in the relationship that you're in right now? When I first asked myself that question, I was shocked. I couldn't find an answer for many of the people that I called friends. I had a lot of dead weight in my life which was making it harder for me to move forward, move up in life where I wanted to be. It sounds nice having a friend come over to stop you from falling into isolation. But what if that friend is just a big dosser with no goals? That won't help you long term. It's like a quick fix solution to loneliness for which many fall trapped to. Now if you're into self-development, you will already have heard and understand the rule. And that's the average of five rule. Your salary will be the average of your five closest friends. As you become a professional, never forget that. Whoever you hang around, you will become like. What does that mean for you as a high school student? Your GPA will be the average of your five closest friends. So if you ever find yourself needing a high GPA, get some new friends. 
If you ever found yourself as a professional wanting to go to that next level and make more money, get some new friends. If you haven't subscribed yet and you understand the importance of relationships and the importance of other people, then please hit the subscribe button and follow us on this journey. The five people you speak to the most and spend the most time with is a reflection of who you are and where you will always be if you stay on that path. This video isn't to tell you what friends or partners to choose because everyone has different goals in life. But the rule of five is real, ladies and gents. You can see it for yourself all over society. If your friends have no goals, no ambition, and are happy to stay this way, you having goals, ambition, and wanting to upgrade isn't gonna help you. Whether you've known them from school, it makes no difference. These types of relationships always turn sour, especially for the person trying to upgrade. The thin line between love and hate is not rare. The right friends will help you to achieve your dreams literally, but there's a balance to everything. You see, a relationship isn't just about what you can get from a person. It's also about what you are providing to them. If you meet or you have already met someone that inspires you, try to understand the things that they like or the things that they are working on and ask yourself, how can you help or assist them? Just having the wrong friends can cause so many problems in your life. There are many people that have even been killed because of the people they associate with. And I mean many people. The people we surround ourselves with greatly influence our thoughts, behaviors, and ultimately shape who we become. While it may sound like just something someone said, there is scientific evidence to support this idea. You need to audit the people around you. Make sure that you're spending time with people who are in line with what you want for your life. Preferably people that are better than you. So it raises your average. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. You will be staggered, stunned, gobsmacked, awestruck. How much time you're wasting with people that have no business being in your life to attain your goals. Correct. The most important tool at your disposal for living the best life is other people. The most important tool at our disposal for living the best life we possibly can is other people. Every day you need to remember this. The people we surround ourselves with are the biggest influence on our behavior, our attitudes and our results. Now the road is a risky one, but it's a road that we all have to take. Others can take you to the top and others can literally destroy you. This is why I always say, know thy circle. I'll see you on the other side. Potentially in another brother's baby mother.